All right, John, thank you very much. New tonight. Frustration over the struggling economy and a lack of jobs spilling into the streets of South Florida tonight. It comes as an NBC Wall Street Journal poll is released and it puts the president's approval rating at an all-time low of 44%. And when it comes to how the president is handling the economy, only 37% approve. But the president isn't the only one being blamed for our economic situation. The protesters outside of tonight's Republican fundraiser were made up mostly of unemployed workers who are all looking for work. NBC Miami's Jeff Burnside is live in Saturday like control tonight with their story. Jeff? Well, the word is jobs. More and more of the all-consuming political word as the economy continues to stumble along and the presidential campaigns continue to heat up. Many of those protesters tonight don't care who creates the jobs, Republicans or Democrats. They just want to work. What do you want? Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. They were loud and clear. They want an economy that creates jobs. And the crowd of nearly 100 was right outside the gated community of Snapper Creek Lakes, where the limos were going for a $10,000 a plate fundraiser for Congressman Alan West, whose likeness was carried on a stick, along with headliner Congressman Eric Cantor and other South Florida Republicans. <laughs> The politicians are always telling that the jobs are increasing, but I can't see that. 68-year-old Rodelio Ionesa came over from Cuba 20 years ago and has worked hard as a maintenance man, janitor, whatever it takes. Until now, he's been jobless a year. I do many jobs, so I am not looking for something special. But there are nothing. Wherever you go and you make an application, they tell you, I will call you. They never call. Of course, all this comes less than 48 hours before the president's speech to a joint session of Congress on the topic of jobs, and both parties claiming that they're the party that can create jobs. There is work to be done, and there are workers ready to do it. The president is reportedly preparing to announce a $300 billion tax and spending cut and a one-year extension on a payroll tax cut. But once again, his Republican detractors in the House are already saying they will not support the president's proposal. And Florida's governor today said Congress should do what Florida is doing. I think we're doing the right things here, so I think that, <clears throat> that we'll continue to do better than the rest of the country. Um, but I think, uh, you know, unfortunately, we're, we're to a certain extent dependent on what the federal government does. The protest was organized by One Miami, a jobs-focused group that used the theatrics of a soup line to contrast the wealth nearby. And we've got politicians here at a fundraiser at a $10,000 a plate dinner. Instead of focusing on doing the work of the people, they're in there with a bunch of lobbyists. Suarez says his group will continue these protests until Congress hears them or until they go to the polls in November and vote them out. Jeff Burnside, NBC Miami. Jeff, thank you.